You know what's so special, friends? Sometimes a person maybe needs just a little finite friendship. Sometimes a person absolutely needs something infinite. You know, sometimes children come home from school and they just maybe they need a peanut, peanut butter sandwich. But maybe sometimes, yes, they do need a peanut butter sandwich, but they need an infinite sandwich. <laughs> and, and the deepest secret of life is, the deepest secret of life is, and again, listen to me, and I want you to open your eyes the deepest way. If you're connected to the person only on the level of after creation, you don't get it. After creation is day is day, night is night, summer is summer, winter is winter. If you're connected to them like before creation, if you have a covenant with God, if you are like Avraham Avinu, and here I want you to know, and this is the deepest steps. Before our father Abraham entered the covenant with God, what's the covenant? Covenant means I'm completely given to that person. Make a covenant with a person, yes, I'm completely given to that person in the most infinite way. I make a covenant with God, it's not I do this and this. Someone asked me, you know, for me, 6 and 13 is a very unimportant number. Sure, it's important when I have to do it. To think I walk around all day thinking about 6 and 13. All, everything, right? You have to serve God every second, right? Every split second. And, and a lot of times, it doesn't say exactly in the book what you have to do. But Kaval, if you if you a little bit, if you want, if you're a child of the covenant, if you're completely given to it, you know what you have to do, right? <coughs> you see, Avraham Avinu, before he entered the covenant, he knew when a, when a poor person walks the streets, has nowhere to go, he needs to sleep, to eat, and maybe a friendly word. He didn't know he needs all. After he entered the covenant, with a different kind of welcoming guests. How much he knew a person who has no home has nothing. And you think because he has nothing, you give him something, it's enough? No. The person who has nothing needs everything. Because a lot of times people who have something, they hang on to that something. And they don't even have vessels for everything. But suddenly Abraham of Wiener realized, come out. The person who has no home, who has nothing. You know what he has vessels for? For everything. And the same angels who were greeted by Abram told him that he'll have children. You know, if you think children need, need milk, they need clothing, they need this, and you make a long list, you're cute and sweet. Maybe you're a nurse, but you're not a mother, not a father, right? Suddenly everyone realized, you know what a child is? Mamish needs everything. Mamish everything. And I just want to bless you, I want to bless Josh and all the people who heal sick people, we all are sick. At that moment when a person, God forbid, is a little bit sick, even sometimes things go wrong in our lives, at that moment we have a vessel for everything. And I want you to know, sweetest friends, by the Holy Land, it says Eretz Koilbo, the land which has everything. You know, we were 2,000 years in exile. God didn't give the Holy Land back to us. You know when we suddenly had vessels for the Holy Land? When we walked through the gas chambers. We had nothing anymore. Amish. There was nothing left. And um, I'd love to see the Holy Land. God should give it to us completely. See what the problem is, we still think we have something. We still think we have a little Western civilization, and we have a friend in the United States, and we have this, and we have nothing. There's only one God, that's all there is to it, right? Because the moment you have nothing, and you become a vessel for the everything, a right? 
It's a completely different thing. <coughs> and um, <clears throat> you know, it's so special. We're living in a world. You know, when I when I when I have Shabbos, I don't want a little Shabbos. I want the all of Shabbos. You know. What's Yom Shukulai Shabbos, which is the all of Shabbos, right? All of Shabbos, Mamash. You know, we don't need friends just to say hi. How you doing? What time is it? <laughs> Today, the world needs friends. Who are infinite friends? Infinite friends. And friends, you know, it's so beautiful that today we have a chance. God opens gates for us. Mamish, God opens gates for us. So that we absolutely can be, and we can reach beyond ourselves. Reach beyond and deeper than anything in the world. And again, with the smallest things in the world. As I told you before, the husband didn't didn't reach the all when he bought the 18 apartment house. A little stone.